Hi, welcome to Zandra Rhodes Inspired Easy Peasy Family Printing. I'm Fiona and I am a print designer in Aberdeen and today you'll be joining me in my home kitchen with my little helpers and we're going to get some easy peasy block printing play on the go. So let's get started. To get us started we're going to need to gather together a few materials. What you'll need is some paper, maybe some scrap fabric if you've got some. I've got some calico here. If you want to print a t-shirt later, you're going to need an old or current plain t-shirt. You're going to need a paint tray and some household sponges. Some paints, so this can be either poster paints or acrylic paints. You're going to need some scissors some tape and glue stick might be helpful, a pencil or pen to make marks. You're need to, gonna need a collection of materials to make your printing blocks. And you might want some coloring pens or coloring crayons to create your designs in the first place. So today we're going to be printing inspired by the work of Dame Zandra Rhodes. Zandra Rhodes has been a print and fashion designer for now for over 50 years. And we're going to be looking at a few of her textiles to get inspiration for our easy peasy printing blocks. So you can see some of the examples of the prints that she's created here. Maybe you can ask an adult to help you and find some images of some of her work and pick out some of the shapes or pictures that you can see within the textile designs that she's created. It's also maybe an idea to have a look at some of the collection names. Some of the collections she calls really inspiring names like giant snail flower or zigzag shell or cactus. So what do those names make you think of? And then maybe you can design your shapes or print motifs from there. So we're going to need to find some household bits and bobs to make our easy peasy printing blocks. So you might want to have a bit of a rake about your house and see what treasure you can find. But in here, I've got some craft Foam, which is brilliant for making blocks. I've got some cardboard, which is also good. I've got some polystyrene, so if you've had pizza lately, then you might find some polystyrene pizza bases, or you can pick up polystyrene sheets from the craft shops. I've got some textured ridged cardboard here and some other textured brown paper that might be good for textures. Got some toilet rolls or any kind of wrap um, cardboard tubes are great. Got some sponges that you can cut up, some string, corks. I've got old packaging boxes, some milk bottle tops, and in here I've also got some toys and bits and pieces that we might experiment with. So you might find lots of other bits around your own house. So what treasure can you find? So now we're going to start making our actual printing blocks. So you can take the materials that you've collected and use them to make marks. You can cut toilet rolls. You can wrap string around boxes that you've collected. You can take your foam and your polystyrene and you can draw your motifs into them and then cut around them to create your own printing blocks. It's really satisfying sensation drawing into the foam and the polystyrene.
the marks that you draw into the polystyrene will end up white. Little hands love this part of the process too. So what shapes and marks can you create that will print out differently and represent the shapes that you've chosen? You can see some of my examples here. Okay, so once you've got your printing blocks ready, we're going to create our print trays. So I've just laid out a household sponge in a paint palette here. I've just used a bit of Perspex for this one. So they've got one block each. We're just going to take some paint and we're going to go splodge onto the sponge. And that is going to become our inking pad. So now you can really start to have some fun with your printing. Just ink up your shape or your block that you've made, squishing it into the sponges and then you just make your marks onto your paper or onto your fabric pieces. Once you get going you might want to start mixing up the colours of your paint. So what colours can you mix up to make new colours on your little ink pad? Just take a splodge of each and then you can mix them together with something, a little piece of cardboard I'm using here. And then you can make new colours and maybe develop new patterns too. So if you want to move towards printing your own t-shirt, you can take your t-shirt and I'd recommend putting a barrier in between the two layers. So you might just want to use a piece of cardboard and slip it inside your t-shirt where you're going to print. Take your stamp that you're going to use, ink it up. And then you can go ahead and print on your t-shirt. So this is my finished t-shirt. You can see I've tried to use some button flowers, some splodges, and a little cactus as a detail on my pocket. I really hope you've all had fun printing with us today. Enjoy, experiment, explore, and you'll be print designers in no time.